Yeah. Neighborhood Cash, man. Green up. You already know what time it is. Back with another video. And this is the video that a lot of y'all have been waiting for, bro. This is the shot aiming tutorial. Hey, look, man, we're going to get right into it. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? All I want to say is, man, shout outs to y'all for getting me 50 likes on that shot aiming video, bro. You know what I'm saying? That was the first video I made for next gen. All I asked for was 50 likes, and I told you I got the tutorial. And here it is, bro. I definitely appreciate that. Continue to like and subscribe because I'm dropping a lot more content. Look, bro, hey, this shot aiming is so underrated. These clips y'all looking at right now, that's a that's a new build, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna make a tutorial on this build as well. But as you can see, bro, all I got right now on this build is a Hall of Fame sniper. Um, I wanna say I had like a gold hot zone hunter, but I only got like seven badges on this build right now, bro, and I'm already cashing. So look, bro, I'm telling y'all, shot aiming is the wave. You don't even need a lot of badges to do this, bro. <laughs> And the crazy thing about this build, I get 28 shooting badges with this build, bro. <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't wait to get all those. But anyways, if y'all have any questions after this tutorial, bro, leave your questions in the comment section. I respond to everybody. I show love to everybody. And I appreciate y'all. And let's get right into the video, man. All right, man. So look, we in the getaway facility, man. Shout out for 2K for this dope feature. You know what I'm saying? I spent my hard-earned VC to rent this out. To get y'all this tutorial you feel me it's like nah honestly it wasn't it wasn't that much vc i ain't even gonna hold y'all but anyways bro look i'm gonna try to make this you know what i'm saying as quick as possible because i don't want to try to overthink this video and i don't want to make no long ass video for y'all when it when it can be all so simple you know what i'm saying so this is what it comes down to bro green green up you already know what the fuck going on but anyways bro look when it comes to aiming bro what you want to focus on bro is is honestly how to pull it down straight every time now what i mean by that is you can save yourself a lot of time and a lot of worry if you just make simple adjustments so the simple adjustment i had to make oh this shit kicked me off god damn oh shit hold on oh, hold on y'all technical difficulties hold on let me, I, got, I gotta rent this bitch back out hold on look man we bad we bad we bad we had technical difficulties but um look bro you have to learn how to pull the analog stick down straight you know what i'm saying to give yourself or not even straight but just with more control so what i mean by that is when i go to aim i have my thumb like hovered over like the top of the analog stick now the reason i do that is because you know before i was aiming and when i'm dribbling i, I never really was cautious of you know what i'm saying how i really use analog stick but when you're aiming bro you want to be cautious of that because um as soon as i made that adjustment to have my thumb like a little bit above the analog stick that's the only adjustment i needed to give me like more control of aiming you know what i'm saying like so if my shot so if the meter does pop up and it's not aimed towards the middle like it just gives me more control to be able to like you know what i'm saying like aim it and then tap l2 to to try to green the shot now when i say tap l2 what i mean by that is when you're aiming bro you want to tap l2 like um to time your shot all that does bro is it gives you a boost like there's no reason to not tap l2 at all because all l2 does is it gives you a boost bro it gives you a boost to the shot you feel me like it gives you a boost like even for that one like that one wasn't necessarily it wasn't in the center but just because i tapped l2 it gave me a green just because i timed it excellent you know what i'm saying so l2 is used to time the shot and l2 also like locks in the crosshair so like from the moment you tap l2 the crosshair like it, it isn't going to like move to the left or the right no more the moment you tap l2 that crosshair stops moving so if you get that shot where it's like you know what I'm saying? You pull it up and it's already in the center. You can literally just tap L2 and, and you're, you'll be good. You know what I'm saying? You'll be good. You'll green the shot. Just because it's already in the center, you tap the L2, it's already there. It's, no, it's nothing more to be done. You know what I'm saying? Like, But you get a shot like that. That one aimed, you know what I'm saying, to the right a little bit. I try, I try to tap L2, but you know what I'm saying? So you're not going to make every shot. Just like anything, you're not going to make every shot. But you make way more shots aiming. And it's simply because when you tap L2, 
it gives you a bonus for the timing of the shot and you already get a bonus because you're aiming the shot you know what i'm saying um hopefully that makes sense and then once you get real nice at it you know what i'm saying you're able to just move all around the court and and you're aware of of pulling down analog stick straight and you're able to that's when you're able to make those crazy you know like circus threes and step backs and do all types of craziness you know what i'm saying because you're aware of of how to aim you feel me like that's all it comes down to bro so honestly that's just the key takeaways is you might have to make an adjustment to how you hold the analog stick so that you're able to have more control when aiming to the left or aiming to the right you want to always tap l2 because what that does is it locks in your shot you feel me and you're not gonna make them all like i said you're not um that's when your badges and everything is to really taking this into consideration you feel me but um oh oh yeah one last thing so people ask me a lot like why my shot is like so high arcing and, and shit like that um now the reason my shot is so high arcing is because in next gen i don't you know what i'm saying a lot of people are starting to find out but like um the speed at which you like pull the analog stick down determines the arc of your shot so if you're pulling the analog stick down slow like you know what i'm saying like this like like that was that was slow you see how high the shot went if you pull it down slow you know what i'm saying that's a high arcing shot now if you pull it down fast like that's a flat shot you'll even see it say shot arc flat that's because i pulled the analog stick down fast and that was a flatter shot so really that's just up to you like if you like a flat shot bro you like pulling down fast have a flat shot boom you know what i'm saying hey <laughs> that's you me i just like pulling the analog stick down slow because i like having a high arcing shot and honestly i just feel like whenever i like whenever the shot is high arcing i just make a lot more like you know what I'm saying? Like full whites. I, I'm not sure. It's just something about a flat shot. Like if I don't green a flat shot, like I just think I'm a brick the fuck out of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this is what I be thinking. But that's really up to y'all. Um, the learning gap to that is, you know what I'm saying? It's just a little harder to pull pull down slow and to pull it down straight. Um, but you know what I'm saying? They did it that way because, you know what I'm saying? The high arcing shot just looks nicer. It looks nicer than a flat shot. You know what I'm saying? So it is going to be a little tougher to pull it down straight if you are pulling the analog stick down slow but if you master it, it it looks way it looks way better you know what i'm saying it looks like you know what you're doing especially if you're doing moving shots with it it just looks crazy like especially in the wreck bro it's like the shot be be going off the screen bro like you don't even see the ball sometimes like the, the shot be so damn high you know what i'm saying like it's funny but um yeah bro that's really what wraps up this tutorial um just focus on pulling down the analog stick as straight as possible you know what i'm saying for those one-offs like like that shot right there like it wasn't straight in the center all i did was i adjusted it back to the left you know what i'm saying and then tap l2 and that's what gave me the green for that shot bro and even if you don't green the shot bro you make a lot more shots just in general bro just by aiming because you get a boost for the timing of the shot and you get a boost for aiming the shot, bro. Green up, bro. Man, I'm nice, bro. This shit crazy, bro. This shit easy.